friends welcome back to another video i hope you've been doing very well i'm feeling really excited but also kind of nervous for today's video because as you will be able to tell today i am swapping diets with my best friend for the day you guys see a lot of what i eat in a day and what i eat in a week but today you're gonna see a whole lot of what i don't usually eat basically so i live with my best friend kara who you have met countless times before on my youtube channel i am vegan and she is also vegan but we eat pretty different diets and we like uh, quite a lot of different food a lot of the time as you'll probably be able to tell by my previous videos I do a lot of cooking for Kara, but today she's gonna cook everything for me to eat in a day And I'm going to cook everything for her to eat in a day So I'm gonna basically have her ideal day of food and she's gonna have my ideal day of food And yeah, it's just gonna show you Realistically what we both like to eat in a day and definitely put particularly me out of my comfort zone I wouldn't say ideal. What do you mean? Because my ideal day is for you to cook for me. <laughs> it's just what I would cook for myself. Right, okay. So you might have picked up on this about me, but I am quite a fussy eater. There are a lot of like textures and flavors and things that I'm still trying to warm myself up to. And at the moment, I am trying to put myself out of my comfort zone to be fair so hopefully this video will be good for me in that sense but yeah keep in mind I'm a very fussy eater there's a lot of things that I um can't get around so it's gonna be interesting to see what Kara cooks for me today anyway that's enough for me let's get into the video this is swapping diets with my beautiful best friend and housemate for the day and I hope you enjoy good morning hello what's going on What's going on is, I've just woken up and I'm very hungry and <laughs> worried. <laughs> because the thing is, is that I know that I'm gonna eat. I know that I'm gonna have the good version of today. Like, Ducky is the one that's going to struggle a bit. <laughs> but I also like what I like. So I don't know, I'm just a bit nervous. But anyway, I'm really thirsty and I can't have soda water. So, so Kara and I are both big water consumers but here's the thing she drinks soda water and i hate soda water so Kara's gonna have to have a bit of a still moment today and i'm gonna have to have a sparkling moment which is just i will say that you'll be happy to know that the first thing i drink in the morning isn't sparkling and still so you're gonna be happy with that lucky me cheers son cheers <laughs> No, no straw. So as we probably know, there are two major things that I tend to like to start my day with. And lately I have been enjoying making both. So I have a bit of a sweet and a savory moment. So this morning for breakfast, I'm going to be making two iconic Amanda Ducks breakfast. Can I guess? Oh, you can guess if you want. A smoothie and avalon toast. Yeah, but it's a little bit more bougie than that. Okay. So basically what I'm going to be making is my classic PB cacao protein smoothie. And then I'm also going to be making a Herbie Avo and Pea smash on sourdough. <laughs> you may as well be at a cafe right now, to be honest. <laughs> Here we have uh, the Avo P Herbie Smash and a PB Cacao Smoothie. So good. Iconic breakfast. Here's the thing. I don't actually know if I'm gonna like P Avo Smash. I like peas and I like Avo Smash, obviously. Something about it just makes me, something about it together. <laughs> it's very, oh, it smells good. It's very herby. Is it nice? Mm. Yes. You can taste the peas though. Yeah. Interesting. I like it. <laughs> mm. Okay, hun. So, I'm hungry. You are hungry. It's breakfast time, but can yes. you give me a little bit of an insight into how you plan your breakfast? Um, plan's a strong word. I don't really plan anything I eat in a day. Breakfast is my most consistent meal. I go through like periods where I'm like, I have the same thing. Yeah. So right now, you are having a bagel, mm -hmm. vegan cream cheese, mm -hmm. 
tomato. Uh huh. Oh. Oh. And the best part. Oh. 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 And the cold brew. Which I'm actually really upset about because I bought this at the farmer's market on Saturday and I haven't even had one yet. And you get to have one and you're not going to appreciate it. But. I'm absolutely not going to appreciate it. So let me just follow up on what Kara said. And basically I don't drink coffee because I don't like the flavor. I've had maybe half a coffee in my entire life because I just can't get around it. So today is definitely going to be an interesting day. Okay, so we have our cold brew coffee on soy milk um it's not iced or warm so what is it well you used all the ice oh sorry <laughs> and we have a bagel with cream cheese and tomato and here's the thing i love this breakfast <laughs> a lot like i'm gonna enjoy this breakfast a lot not sure about the coffee moment ready yes I would love to be a coffee drinker. Like I want to be one of those people who goes and gets a morning coffee and sits at a cafe with their friends and has a coffee and does coffee related activities, but it's just not delicious. That's also probably the weakest coffee I could have made without it being just purely milk. So, <laughs> Like she actually requested me to put more milk in because the amount that I put in. I'm, I'm throwing you a bone, hun. That's like half of what I would drink. You are throwing me a bone. <laughs> okay, ready? I'll have some of my, my bagel moments. See, oh yeah. This is gonna be lit. I especially love a sesame bagel, so thank you so much. You're welcome. The problem with bagels is that I always want more than one. Yeah, and they're so dense. Mm. So good. Okay, so it is like 11.30 a.m. now and Kara is hungry, so I have made her some lunch. You can probably see the absolute huge mess behind me. Fun fact, I am one of the messiest cooks ever and I make such a ridiculous amount of mess for such a small meal. But anyway, here we are. I've made Kara lunch and one of my favorite lunches to have... Is it tempeh? ...is fresh tacos. Kara, it's okay. <laughs> if there's a mango salsa, if there's a mango salsa or a pineapple salsa. Um, so for Cara's lunch today, I have made three tacos. I've got some corn tortillas, which I topped with a homemade pineapple salsa, as well as some cos lettuce, charred corn, chickpea tempeh, guacamole, coriander, and lime. And to me, this looks like the ideal lunch. I'm not sure about Kara right now. How do you feel? Look, it doesn't sound awful. <laughs> I just don't like the taste slash texture of tempeh. I mean, tempeh, especially chickpea tempeh, is definitely an acquired taste, for sure. God, that looks and smells so good. I don't really like it. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. I'm not offended. <laughs> I just see the drips of the pineapple coming off. And to me, that's like so delicious. But to Kara, it's like absolutely horrifying. So I was just doing the dishes peacefully, minding my own business. And Kara starts laughing and goes, there's just nothing about this that I like. Yeah, I said so there's just almost nothing about this that I like. <laughs> I like the guacamole. It's just that it's tainted. <laughs> By the fruit flavor. And here we were thinking <laughs> that I was going to be the one <laughs> eating things I didn't like today. Well, here's the thing. We both liked breakfast. Mm -hmm. We probably both got to not like lunch. Although I think you might not dislike my lunch as much as I dislike this lunch. <laughs> wow, roast me, huh? Tofu tacos mm -hmm. with broccolini and 
some barbecue sauce and some mayonnaise and some lettuce and a glass of soda water. Oh, exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Do you like that? Soda water? No, I don't, but that's okay. Look, honestly, I feel like this is great work for me. Thank you. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, yeah, can you guys see? This is the lunch that Kara has made for me. I'm pretty impressed. I don't really eat tofu, so this is gonna be different, <laughs> fun, and new and different. So, my camera cut out just as I was having my first bite, but I'm pretty impressed with the um, taco moment that we're having. And, mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm enjoying this. You've made me enjoy some tofu. Maybe You're I'll... being way nice with it. <laughs> so I am currently making an afternoon snack for Kara, which of course is a hot cacao. I just make this with soy milk, maple syrup, maca powder, vanilla, cacao powder, and a pinch of pink salt. You guys will know I love a hot cacao so much. And then something else that I have been loving recently are these biscuits. <laughs> I am obsessed oh, yeah. with biscuits. <laughs> I am obsessed with biscuits at the moment and I have been snacking on both of these so much lately. So with her very frothy hot cacao, Kara is also going to have some biscuits. At the same time, Kara is going to make me my snack. And what am I having? You are having, kind of similarly, mm -hmm. an iced cacao. Oh yes. Because you know how much I like an iced drink. Yes. And you're going to be having saladas, two saladas with peanut butter. Wow. And you'll also be having couple of olives oh horrifying <laughs> you're really doing so well i was so excited but here's the thing it's like i just you know like since saturday i've just been eating olives randomly throughout the day they're just so good yeah i'm gonna have so to it would it olive. would not be accurate if i did, with olives in the fridge it would not be accurate if you didn't eat an olive. <laughs> okay here is my snack for the day couple of saladas with some nutalex and pb <laughs> And here is my iced cacao, which I am so excited about. I usually have cacao every day and it's currently 2.30 uh, p.m. And this is the first hint of cacao I'm having <laughs> whilst I shop for bed linen. Love this for me. Okay, so I just had the first olive that I have had in many years as a snack because they are one of Kara's absolute favorite snacks. I will insert a clip of just how much I loved the olives here. Cheers, hun. <laughs> so yeah, personally, not a fan of the whole olive moment. Definitely preferred my coffee this morning to my afternoon snack of an olive. But now it is nearing dinner time and I have started cooking Kara's dinner. Something that I love to cook and I have regularly is a nourish bowl, which is pretty much where I just put everything that I have in the house at the moment that I feel like eating into a bowl and I eat it. So let me show you what we have on the menu tonight. So the first thing that I have is some crispy kale as well as some broccolini. I just cooked this in some oil nutritional yeast, onion powder, and salt. So it is nice and crispy. And then over here I have some crispy chickpeas, which chickpeas are like my favorite source of protein as you've probably noticed by now. So with these, I just cooked them with some oil, nutritional yeast, onion, and salt as well. Then over here I have some quinoa. Quinoa is something that I am also loving at the moment and have been cooking and eating so much of. So I've got that. And then I also prepared some cos lettuce, which I massaged with avocado, lemon, salt, and pepper. And then I also made a tahini drizzle. I put tahini drizzle on a lot of things at the moment. And I very simply just mix maple syrup, lemon, and tahini. A lot of people don't like tahini by itself, and I almost agree. <laughs> so I like to mix it with some lemon for a bit of flavor and some maple for a bit of sweetness. So here it is. Here is Kara's nourish bowl for dinner. I also topped it with some hemp seeds because I love hemp seeds so much. And honestly, this looks so good. I wish that it was my dinner tonight, but I am equally as excited to see what Kara has on the menu for me. Oh wow, that's a pretty thick bun. That is a thick bun. Okay. All right, here we have 
dinner time. Cara, do you want to explain to me what I have for dinner tonight? You have spaghetti bolognese uh -huh. made vegan. Mm -hmm. So, with some kale. Mm -hmm. So I got some vegan minced meat from mm -hmm. Woolworths. And I just added that with some pasta and some bolognese pasta sauce and some kale. And that's what it is. Sweet. This is the vibe. See, Kara is a vegan who likes to eat mock meat products. I think that I've spoken about that f before, that Kara really enjoys mock meat. Like, she's not vegan because she doesn't like the taste of meat. No, I grew up eating meat. Yeah. So. Whereas, I didn't grow up eating meat, so mock meat doesn't really appeal to me. But, yeah, I'm definitely open to this. When Kara was cooking it, it smelled really good. Um... I haven't eaten mock meat in a really long time. All right, let's see what Cara's dinner tastes like. Well, I guess it's my dinner, but I don't love the mm. texture of the meat, but it tastes nice. Mm. I guess it's all about the flavor that you add, right? So you never had real spaghetti bolognese, have you? I don't think so. I might have had it when I was really, really young, but I wouldn't remember the flavor. So to me, bolognese is lentil bolognese. Mm. Cara and I were saying before that we're already so excited to eat tomorrow because we both just love eating intuitively and love being able to eat what we want to eat when we feel like it. And you guys would know that that's what I encourage is intuitive eating and making sure you eat nourishing food, but also making sure you eat to honor your cravings. Mm. <clears throat> and like we've really realized, especially filming today, that like I have much more of a sweet tooth than Cara does mm. because like I always have cacao in the morning and I always have cacao in the afternoon at some point. And those biscuits... Oh yeah. When I saw four biscuits on that plate, I was so excited and I was really happy. Mm. But then I couldn't even, I was like, I just don't want four. Yeah. <laughs> I want whereas, a slutter. Whereas like, I'm like, I could eat a whole packet of them. Mm. So yeah, we definitely realized that. But I feel like it just goes to show again, like for me personally, not to turn this into a whole meaningful moment, but I feel like this is why intuitive eating is so important because everyone is just so different. Like we're vegan, both of us are vegan and we live together and we have similar lifestyles, but we, we just eat very, differently. eat very differently and we crave different <clears throat> foods and we enjoy different foods and different foods fuel us better. Um, and you know, we like to eat at different times of the day and things like that, like mm. literally Everyone is so different. Anyway, we are going to enjoy our dinner now, and then that's gonna be the end of our day. It's already getting so dark on the Gold Coast. What time is it, like 5.30 p.m.? Just to be clear, I really like this. Oh yeah, we didn't even discuss that. Yeah, we didn't discuss that. that. I really like this. Thank you, I appreciate that. Anyway, that is everything for today's video. Thank you to my beautiful housemate and best friend, Kara Aridi for being here, for filming today's video with me and for cooking for me all day. What an absolute treat. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for being here and for supporting me and for supporting my YouTube channel. I appreciate it and you so much and I will see you very soon for another video. Have a beautiful day. Bye! <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> That's what I was trying to do last time. I was like waiting for you to like... You know how I was like trying to copy you? Yeah, you're a silly sausage.